Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. So, a lot of people have been commenting on my videos lately and a lot more than ever a lot of people have been getting errors with their Skyrim Special Edition and with modding it. So, I was having some errors too but it was because I hadn't played the game in a little bit and some of the mods, you know, get updated and then they're incompatible with other mods and just keep in mind that if you mod up the game and then you don't play for a few months or even a few weeks sometimes or maybe even a few days, it's going to change up the way the game is. So you're going to want to look into things and go through Vortex. Um, I want to show you guys a couple things here because it seems like a lot of people are having problems and I just want to you know, keep going over things that could help you. One thing I want to say is, um, if you are having trouble, look through all of my videos, and I'm not just trying to, like, promote my channel, but it really is helpful if you really just watch all of my modding videos and don't skip through it, watch all of it, and listen to what I say, because I've taken the time to learn how to do it, and I mod Skyrim now with ease, and if you just watch all my videos, you should be able to learn a thing or two from me and it should work out for you but as you can see i reinstalled my skyrim because everybody was having so many problems and i thought it was because skse was messed up because mine wasn't working either so i reinstalled my skyrim and i went right back to the beginning and activated only five mods the mods that i started with just to give you guys a basis is the unofficial skyrim special edition patch which you need i'm sure most of you don't get this um but you really do need it because i didn't get it in the beginning when i first started modding and i don't even know how i was modding skyrim without this so you'd need the unofficial patch uh i also installed the static mesh improvement mod which makes the game look a ton better but i also got sky ui sky hud and alternate start live another life so that i could just launch the game up real quick so these are the five mods that i have installed and obviously i have skse SK yeah SKSE <laughs> obviously I have SKSE as well my bearded dragon is bugging out in the background if you guys hear that background noise that's what it is uh, not sure what his deal is today but another reason why I'm making this video is because I want to up you guys update you guys on uh, the status of my channel I'm gonna be streaming on Wednesdays uh, and doing Skyrim mods and I'm gonna be posting a Skyrim video every Friday uh, starting now, so t today is Tuesday, uh, January, what is today, Tuesday, January 5th, so tomorrow, Wednesday, January 6th, I will be streaming. On stream tomorrow, I'm going to disable all of these mods, and I'm going to show you guys how to install SKSE, and then I'm going to get these five mods again from scratch, just to show you guys what you should be doing. Uh, so I hope you guys tune in because it's really going to help you. You're going to be able to, for the first time, actually like watch me live and ask me questions on what you need to do. Um, I know it's hard. I know it's frustrating. Bear with me. Watch all my videos. Don't skip through it. Um, I've been there. I know what it feels like to want to play a Skyrim mod and not be able to install it and therefore not be able to play it. It's mad annoying. I get it. I'm going to try to help you guys. So... You know, make sure you watch all my videos. I can't stress that enough. And don't skip through them because I'm going to be telling you guys important things that you need to do the entire time. So hopefully I'll see a couple of you guys tomorrow that are having trouble. Uh, one last thing is I have a Discord now. So I opened up a Discord for specifically for Skyrim and modding Skyrim. So I'm going to have people in here hopefully that, you know, mod a lot and can help uh, you guys. And obviously I'm going to be in it just helping people along the way and we're just going to be able to talk about the game and talk about modding the game and help each other out so that should be good the link is going to be down below to join that so i hope you guys have a good day i hope i see some of you guys tomorrow that are struggling with skyrim because i'm going to be able to hopefully help you live for the first time and it should help a lot so have a good day guys and i'll see you soon thanks again All right, so just a couple of things I want to show you guys with Vortex mods because a lot of you guys are having trouble. So here's the mod screen, right? 
first of all, before you even touch Vortex Mods at all, install SKSE. I have a video on it. If you're still having trouble, you got to make sure when you go into Skyrim and you type in SKSE, it shows the SKSE version. Otherwise, you don't have it. Make sure that's happening before you start modding at all. This is the mod section. These are all the mods that I have, right? But this is also the plugin section. This is something that I didn't realize at first and a lot of you probably don't realize. So here's your mods, the five mods I have installed. Again, plus SKSE, so that's six. And then here are all the plugins. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, five plugins that I have added. These are the five mods, so to speak, and there's no plugins for SKSE, right? But there's also other things here. This is Dawn Guard. This is, these are the, uh, DLC plugins. This is the actual Skyrim game plugins, and this is the update, right? DLC. So these are all the plugins for the game. If you install these mods, right, you go from downloads, you download the mods, right, and then you come here and you enable them, and then you come into plugins and they're disabled here. The mods are not going to work because the plugins haven't even been installed into Skyrim. You've just installed the mods into your Vortex. So you have to come to plugins and enable them all here to actually have the mod running. Keep in mind, if you go into your Skyrim Special Edition folder, right, and go into data, you can see what mods are installed at the time. So here I have Alternate Start, Sky HUD, Sky UI, and Static Mesh Improvement Mod, and Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition Patch. So let's look. I have Alternate Start here, right, and... and uh, Here's even all the DLCs, right? Here's Sky HUD. Uh, and then you have Sky UI and the patch and mesh mod improvement. Now, see, so you could see that this, this is my actual Skyrim folder. So I know that these five mods are working and it's all good. Now, if I launch the game, I know it has to be working. There's no, you know, if I launch up the game and... I for uh, like a lot of people are having trouble they say they launch up the game and the mods aren't working well that probably just means you haven't installed the mod correctly because if you have installed the mod right the game's either going to crash or the mod's going to be working there's really no in between once you put the files in if there's nothing happening in the game that means you haven't installed it correctly so come into this folder into the data folder make sure that your files are here and then go from there. So as you can see, I have these five mods installed, and of course, SKSE is installed, as you can see, from the actual Skyrim Special Edition folder. Another thing you want to keep in mind is when you clear, when you're looking at your uh, Skyrim Special Edition and all this stuff, go into mods here. This is the mod staging folder. Make sure you have this folder set and you know where it is. This is where Vortex is going to take all the mods and edit them. If this folder isn't set up, you're going to be getting a million errors. So make sure you have this folder and you know where it is i've been telling a lot of people to clear out their mod staging folder to make sure there's no files in it to start over and it seems like a lot of people are confused so try to know where this folder is before you start modding get used to it open it up here look at your see this is where all the mods are so if they need to uninstall it they're going to stage it through here and and all five of them are here get get used to these folders look at See, like, this is also the download folder. So, like, this th this is the Vortex Mod staging folder. This is where my downloads also go to. Uh, and it's in... So, if I go here, right, and then go into my files, you can see I have Vortex Mods and Vortex Mod staging folder. I'm not sure why this is going to the wrong folder, but here's my staging folder. This is the folder that the program uses to use the mods oh whoops that's a different game you guys have probably never heard of that game right uh vort and this is the vortex mod this is the actual vortex mods folder so if you come in here right for some reason i have no all right i don't know what's happening here what, what is this oh you know what it is actually okay this is where you download the mods. So when they get downloaded, they'll be here. And then when you install them, they move into the staging folder and they move on from there. So that's why these are empty. But this is where you're going to download your mods as well. So make sure this is in the right folder. Those two folders are the most important. Make sure you know where they are.
before you even do anything. Then go, then install SKSE, and then go into the game start screen, hit tilde, it's the button above tab on your keyboard, furthest to the left, hit that, it'll bring up your console, type SKSE, and hit enter. If nothing pops up or you get an error, it's not working. If you see the version of SKSE, it's working, you can exit and you can start installing mods through Vortex. Again, downloads, install. It's going to go into mods, hit enable, and then it's going to move into plugins and hit enable here. Once these are all enabled, and then you check your Skyrim Special Edition folder, and in the data folder, all of the files that match all your mods are here. You're ready to go. Launch up the game. It has to be working from there, or it's going to crash. So I hope this helps you guys. Again, I hope to see you guys tomorrow in my stream, and hopefully I could help you guys even more. I tried to make this as quick as possible because I know you guys like that. I tried to cram in a lot of information, so if it feels like I'm stumbling, that's why I'm trying to think and talk at the same time and make a video. Uh, if you need more help, join the Discord, because that is where I spend most of my time with work and with everything that I do during the day. So if you need to contact me, I'll answer as fast as possible on Discord. Have a good day, guys. Peace out.